Alexis is obviously, because of her job, makes way more money than me. What were you looking for? To see if you were cheating on me? You were looking at my DNs and everything? Yeah. yeah. Like, I feel like if you're gonna break, then break up. Yeah, like, break up. Just, like, break, just break up. Like, oh. finish the sentence. Would you let me have an OnlyFans? Yeah. Oh, man. Welcome back to our channel, guys. We were asking for one week, but we we're finally back, and we we're back with one of the videos that you guys have been requesting for a long time. Y'all love our mukbang, so we're bringing you guys a mukbang of some Japanese food. Japanese food in Mexico, in cabrones. Mexico, cabro cabrones. Cabrones. Hey, she's starting to talk like a real Mexican. Soy mexicana. In, uh... Anyways, so it's Japanese food, but specifically ramen. We're gonna start answering some juicy questions since the beginning. Maybe chomp on some little because we are starving. Yeah, I'm like so starving that. I'm shaking and I can feel my heart beating so fast it's about to fall out. I'm like, hey, hey, are you shaking like this though? No, I'm shaking like this. Oh. These westerners, man. You guys, I don't know why we always do these videos and I'm literally starving when we're doing them. So I'm ready. What? Give me that. <laughs> what is that? Holy sh This is a pancake. Whoa! <gasps> this looks dope! Guys, what? That looks like a Pie. So it's basically like a pancake filled with like some stuff inside. It has Japanese mayo, some teriyaki thing. So let's try this. These are the appetizers. We got two appetizers. This is a pancake. Wait, let's show all the food first. Hold on, I'm hungry. Yeah. It's like a pancake with seafood in it. I don't know if this is like actual Japanese food. Somebody confirm in the comments. This might be like a Japanese Mexican mix because they be just doing random shit. Like over here, we got Mexican sushi. We don't have Japanese sushi. But let's show you guys the rest of the food. This is our other appetizer. It's a bow, but it looks amazing. <laughs> it looks like a taco. It's a Japanese taco. These are the ramen. We got the same ramen, but the ramen comes here, like all the ingredients, and then the broth comes in these little packages. Ooh, look at that, y'all. That looks bomb. I, I'm really picky, but ramen is good. I'm not gonna lie. This is good. But... I'm just gonna do this. Oh, look at those noodles. Oh. Ah, ah. I just want to eat it oh, so Oh, you smell the garlic? It smells great. They're doing some good stuff in that kitchen, boy. Guys, I'm shaking. Oh, get that, get that. It's one little, what is that even? It's gonna be necessary. <laughs> Damn, this is really hot. Oh, I'm gonna try to eat with chopsticks. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Damn. Dude, it's really hot. Help me, help me, please. <laughs> you need help? No, I got this. <laughs> Mm, that broth tastes so good. Ow, ow, ow. But the food is not what you guys are here for. What you guys are here for is these juicy ass questions, boy. Right, and this juicy ass broth. And the juicy ass cooch. I'm gonna eat one of these little meats to refuel. Mm. Damn, this ramen is good, bro. <laughs> Refilled. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna try this. One of these appetizers called a bao. Oh, this looks so good. Ugh, I wanna bite too. This is just us eating like the first mm. 15 minutes. Let me get a bite. Mm. 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 Okay guys, so customer service was a 10 out of 10. They didn't know who I was when I came in. And they still attended me with great pleasure. Oh, are you trying to be Keith? <laughs> I'm like, why would they know you? <laughs> Finally on to the first question. We're done dilligagging, jilligagging. What is it called? Gilligagging. We're done gilligagging. These are some good questions. These are gonna be some controversial questions. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. This is a good one because we have a good story about this. What's the time limit before getting into a relationship? How long is too long? Long and how short is too short. Okay, so personally, me and Michael, we got into it real fast. Like, he knew I was the one when he seen me, when he laid eyes on me. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, personally, what I think, whatever timing's best for you. Because I know some people who think how fast we got together was too fast. And it might be too fast for them. But for us, it wasn't too fast because we knew right from the jump. Like, that's bae for life. For lifers. You asked me out like a month in, huh? Oh yeah, it was like a month. <laughs> Actually, it was pretty quick. Yeah, but we were already um, basically like living with each other by the point I made it official. We got together like three weeks in. Here's what happened for y'all start assuming. Like he was moved up into my place with all his stuff. <laughs> so basically, once we started in that talking phase, like when we knew we were talking to each other and it's like we're not talking to nobody else type stuff, he literally stayed the night one night and never fucking went home. He stayed the night every night. Literally every night he was there. And mind you guys, my apartment, do you guys remember my apartments from college? Um, mess like i had nasty roommates it was small those apartments were ghetto that shit would get shot up like every weekend but i was there to defend you 
<laughs> and the place he was living at, he was living in like a condo gated community with his other soccer friends, with like a couple other guys. In a nice house, two story. He had like nice kitchen, everything, like his own spaces. And mm. he decided to come stay with me. I was sharing a room. Yeah, but you had like a nice bathroom. You had spaces to be on your alone, <laughs> you know? And I did. Nice. I could cook for myself. He left that to come stay with me. But my roommate wasn't gonna give me some no puni, some pum pum. <laughs> I'm saying, I mean, that one night. So yeah, he didn't really move in. He just stayed and never left. Like, and he would go back to like shower and get his stuff ready for soccer and all that. But he had all his stuff at that house, but he was just staying the night at my house like every single day. And then like a month in, we ended up going to San Francisco for his birthday. And in the Japanese tea garden, he asked me out. Guys, he was so nervous. Like I was gonna say no. I was waiting for him to ask me out. I was like, okay, now we reaching the time limit. <laughs> I was nervous because I, I like brought in a crowd of people in the fancy restaurant we were in and I grabbed my, my fancy glass and went ding 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 <laughs> Everybody Attention! 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 And I said it in three different languages so everybody could understand Boy! <laughs> Anyway, so back to the question. I hella got off topic. But for me, that was like perfect timing. I feel like there's a limit. I know so many people who be in the talking stage for like seven, eight months, even longer than that. I and never understood that. That's wrong. insane to me. Any guy knows what they want literally two weeks in, a weekend. They no, know if they want to be with not you. Not every guy. That's assuming. Baby, come on. There's a man that are very troubled like before relationships and stuff. Girls are always like, they give you hints. And sometimes when hints are not clear or confusive, confusive. then obviously the guy's not gonna ask you out no but there's a time limit like okay a month in you should know if you want to be with them yes or no yeah so, yeah but a guy yeah. isn't just gonna ask you out like without knowing for sure like at least in my experience like i knew for sure to ask her out already because like i was literally living with her but i'm not talking about like little flirty relationships you guys talk in school i'm talking about you guys are hanging out every day you guys are getting lunch dinner breakfast you oh guys right. are well those relationships happen quick i don't think those relationships are like six no. months of talking yes i know people who do boyfriend and girlfriend and stuff and they be in the talking stage the talking stage is basically being in a relationship without the commitment talking stage is like you're just talking and feeling each other so you can talk to other people oh that's a good that's a good conversation you think the talking stage you could talk to other people well i was in talking stage with still talking with hella bitches Fuck you. <laughs> and we'll get back to you guys in an hour after i beat his ass Eat my ass? <laughs> that long? No, wait, seriously. Do you think during the talking stage it should be exclusive or you could still talk to other people during the talking stage? Talking stage is not exclusive, obviously. But you're, get, think you're getting to know the person. Because the talking stage is not something like, hey, you want to go into this talking stage with me? Talking stage is the, just like a phase with the person where you get to know him. And like, you're not together, so you're free to text whoever. But if you're like finding this person that who you're talking with interesting, then obviously you start talking to people like naturally. Depends. That's how you you think because you're a good man my fucking be hoes out here i mean it's fine I mean, that's as long as you're not in a relationship it's not cheating or anything no but listen that i feel like that's the reason why guys stay in the talking stage and like stretch it out for so long because they're like technically we're not together i could do whatever i want technically you're not my girlfriend even though we're doing boyfriend and girlfriend stuff we're not together we're in the talking stage so i can still talk to other people if i want to and do whatever i want and I feel that like could happen but i don't know the guys i know are, are not that hoes so back to the question again i feel like one to two months is a good time like somebody should know if yeah. they want to date one like two be months. for real one two months is like it should be by that time kind of if it, it extends the second stage of five months and there, there's something going on yeah you know? if it's five months it's like bitch bye unless like it's maybe like distance long distance or some like other stuff that can be going on but like if you're there and you guys hanging out every day for five months and not dating and, it's kind of weird and for the guys watching out there i didn't understand this until like later on in life but when you're with a girl and it's like y'all spending all time together and stuff like that and it looks like y'all are dating but you haven't brought out the question but obviously y'all are dating you should still bring the question because mm -hmm. i with alexis like i wanted it so bad to like bro we're obviously dating so this is like be dating but I, mad as hell, I got the signs so i was like damn it That's japanese tea garden all reliable well that was your first time there <laughs> Why is there a hair at the bottom of my ramen? No way. One hair? Extra seasoning. You've tasted things with hair before anyway, so... Hmm. How would you say that? <laughs> On to the next question, but before that, ladies, make sure you guys know your worth. I don't want none of y'all waiting on a six 
seven months. Like once you hit the five month mark of talking stage, that's literally crazy. That's like literally crazy and you better drop them. Go find yourself, go love yourself and find you a new man or girlfriend. Like that's Wait, actually uh, insane. There's nothing necessarily bad with it. Just if you're on the talking stage for that long, I mean, you feel free to talk to other guys. Yeah, literally. Literally. If, I mean, if they don't want to be with you. It's like literally showing you don't want to be with them. Like you're telling me in six months, you can decide if you want to be my like a boyfriend. Anyways, I'm done with my ramen as you can see. Itadakimasu. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> so I found a good ass question. Is it bad to follow an ex? So there's a little time with me and Alexis where we were in the talking stage where I guess one of my exes like found out that oh Alexis Maria is talking with him and stuff like that. And she tried to come back in my life. As soon as that happened, obviously I had to block and stuff like that because I feel like that's kind of weird. I do have to say, but this doesn't really count. I had a girlfriend for two weeks here in Mexico in middle school. And so you had girlfriends before me. I thought you'd never seen a girl before me. What the hell? Dude, answer the question! <laughs> so, it was a middle school relationship. It was nothing like, nothing like that. Literally, there was nothing. So afterwards, we just became like very good friends like before I left to uh, the US. And every time I would come to visit, we had like a friend group where we would hang out and stuff like that. And she became a very close friend of mine, like a best friend. And I still follow her and she still follows me. But she has a boyfriend already. I have my girlfriend and nothing like that. And there was ne never nothing going on. That kind of is fine. But I guess when you're like in a serious relationship with somebody and then you guys break up, I'm then they try to like come looking for you or something like that like i feel just out of respect and just to avoid problems i would say i'm following would be the best show me that picture I know who you're talking about. No, honestly, I feel like, okay, first of all, relationships that you are serious, not talking middle school, even high school, because sometimes high school relationships can be like serious. Yeah, like serious relationships, if you're following your ex, get out of my life. It's weird, especially having like that type of relationship yeah. with somebody in that history, especially if you guys have like done stuff. It, it's just Hell kind of, no. it's not just out of respect, but just out of like to just avoid, like if you're serious about the person, you just avoid it. Like nothing is gonna happen, obviously, if you follow him or unfollow him but like obviously the best thing especially for your partner is to just unfollow no because you know how exes are too it's just something uh maybe unnecessary memories you can say like no, sometimes sometimes that. past relationships i feel affect like current relationships and stuff no like that. not even that it's literally out of respect dude. no but this is the thing that happens for a lot of people they come compare like current talking girls they're talking to with, with their exes. ex yeah because they follow them not because they're following, but I'm saying like that's one of the points of like staying in contact with the next. Because it's know? just gonna give you memories. Especially like in talking stages where you're talking with somebody and you're trying to like compare and stuff like that. I feel that happens a lot. But then also like he was saying like his little girlfriend in middle school. Obviously childish things like that. People you've talked to that were like childish back in the day. I feel like that's not that serious. But even people you've talked to seriously that you never got in a relationship with, I feel they should be unfollowed. Those be the main ones trying to sneak in and be like, still text you or like get Failed. back in your life. Failed talking stages. Yeah. Okay, so next question. This is actually such a toxic question. <laughs> it's actually funny to me that people would think something like this. Should couples have a joint account or two separate accounts? <laughs> If you seriously think that you and your boyfriend need a joint Instagram or something, right. you need to grow up. Dummy. It's talking about bank accounts. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Oh. I've seen people have joint Instagrams, like seriously, and they're not influencers. Like I've seen this back in the day. Okay, but bank accounts. Ooh, what do you think? I have never even thought about that because we have separate bank accounts. We do. Why don't you include me? <laughs> Alexis is obviously because of her job makes way more money than me. But it's never got to the point where I'm telling her like we should have joint accounts. At some point we would get joint accounts, but for the moment like we don't really see it as a necessity because right now we don't own anything. I feel if anything we should have separate accounts because once you like start doing big on streaming or if you want to start doing something that's not with our couple channel and like your own name yeah like that should go into your account but obviously it's always going to be our money yeah it's always been like this since the beginning we never had problem like paying each other for stuff and mm -hmm. stuff like that since the beginning okay y'all the camera overheated we're back with even juicier questions all right and i got my little mochi <gasps> mochi damn get out guys look at this ah that's really cool Oh, I really like this. We tried another one of these. One of the times we went and we got a, a mango one. You remember? Yeah. And I did not like it. But this is yummy. Okay, y'all. So next question. So I can eat in peace. Is your boo a machista? You guys really think he's a machista? Girl, go make me a goddamn sandwich. <laughs> Please. 
No, I'm not a machista. My mom was always very teaching about like how you should act towards your girl and stuff like that. And one of the things was never to be like a machista, like impose yourself, like project yourself, like as a as a person like that, as a man like that with your women. <laughs> I messed up by drinking all the broth of the ramen. It like brought so much air inside my gut, and I'm barking, barking, barking. I'm barking. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, basically I'm not a machista. I cook for Alexis most of the time. I clean every time she asks me to clean. The only thing I won't do is wash dishes because we have an agreement that if I cook, she washes dishes. Or vice versa. Yeah, or vice versa. Where I don't cook. <laughs> And I still wash dishes. Boy, why? Yeah, so he's not a machista at all. Like, I feel like you guys already know this. Like, he's literally the complete opposite of a machista, like, in any way. And I'm so thankful for that. I would not be with a man like that, personally. But you never know. People can change. Boy, I'll never change to learn how to cook. So. <laughs> have you guys ever gone through each other's phones without the other person knowing? Yeah. I have to. But it's never... But it's not like to check or anything. It's just like, with the question just if I've gone through it. Yeah. No, have you ever, like... Search through it. Yeah. To see if I'm cheating. Yeah. I know for a fact you have. Dude! <laughs> yeah, hell yeah! This girl is gay! What? Anyway. She be texting with other girls like with heart eyes and little hearts That's and smiley you faces. A girl. That's how I used to flirt. You're not a girly pop, you went in now. Yeah, I've been through his phone, but it's never been like I I probably went through your phone like max what? two, three times since we've been together. Just be three curious. times? Just like curious. What? Then I'm cheating? Not that, I don't think you're cheating, I just go through it. No, I wow. never- now I know to change my password. But it's never been like a, let me go through his phone every fucking day, let me go through his phone. So I never went through his phone like because I thought he was cheating or because like so I had what? a suspicion. I don't know, I'd just be bored. No, you said you so, went so going you're, through it, not the same I'm going on. You're telling me you've never went through my phone? Yeah, I've gone through your phone. So but why? Why have you went through my phone? Because you're gay! <laughs> oh, bye. Why have you gone through my phone? No reason, it's just there. And I'm like, might as well see if he... See what? Look for what? What were you looking for? To see if you were cheating on me? You were looking at my DNs and everything? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm miss yeah girl, it's Jelly Pop. <laughs> I never went with the suspicion of thinking he was cheating, but like, I was just being a little nosy those days. Who That's changed the most after initially meeting? Who changed the most? I think Alexis. Because before she would keep like a certain level of hygiene, but now? Oh she don't give a fuck. No, I think, honestly, I've changed the most because like when we first got together, y'all- She's more productive. Yeah, I was now. lazy. If you guys check like her uploads from 2022, before that, there were like 10 uploads maybe. Yeah, I Close barely posted. And then after that, like when I encouraged her, like, girl, you gotta, you gotta, Ah, she started it. Boy, so it's thanks to me that these all these videos have been coming out, guys. No, Thank me. but it's not because of him. Basically, it's because like once you move out on your own and like have your own house and stuff, I feel like it just really changed yeah. me and my weenie with you and then the dogs and the cats. She didn't care about like eating healthy or anything. You were never concerned about eating healthy at all. Because I didn't think I would fucking gain weight. <laughs> 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 like I was young when we first got well I'm still young but like when we first got together like I didn't give a fuck about eating healthy about like going to the gym about having a routine because like it was just all fun and games you know yeah, what I mean she was just having fun until I put her in her place no until we move into a house together and everything and it's like I'm an adult now you know I gotta be productive I cannot decide to just like stop doing YouTube or stop uploading that's my job that's how I get money you know what I mean and to live you need money so I'm like to I just to live you need a happiness Aww. Because without happiness, you're not living. You're what? suffering. <laughs> no, but that's actually a thing. That's like my philosophy in the world. Like, you gotta be happy, bro. Like, you gotta look for happiness. Money doesn't matter, bro. It matters. What well, matters is happiness. Look for be, your guys' happiness. You won't be happy if you're living on the streets. Could be. Until you're living well, on I'm the streets. very thankful. I'm th very thankful. I'm happy also that I can live near my family. And I have an amazing family. And I have an amazing girlfriend. And my girlfriend has an amazing and supportive family. Back to what we're saying. Yeah, I feel like I just changed the most. I'm like, I just got into my grown up era. Like I'm literally grown up, I gotta be protective. I have goals for myself and for myself as a brand. <laughs> grown what? up era? My grown up era. We're gonna be just growing up? No, I'm in this era. So does it end at some point? Yeah, when I relax. Fuck it, not work no more. <laughs> I'm in my retirement era. Girls and their eras, man. So, so do you think you've changed? I don't think you've changed a lot. I don't think I've changed a lot, now. No, I have changed because when I first met you, I wasn't gaming at all. <laughs> Boy, yes you were! Wait, 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 I don't remember waking up and you'll be on your laptop playing games. That happened like two times. <laughs> it was like every morning. No, 
No, but it happened like two times. No, I remember week. that specifically. I remember you playing a lot and then you stopped. Yeah, I played like two days and then stopped. You have shitty Wi-Fi there. Question. Tattooing each other's names, thoughts and opinions on it. What's your thoughts? Let me know. First, it depends if you're a tattoo person. Second off, it depends like what type of tattoos you like. For my liking, I can't think of a spot where I would just put a Lexus. Unless it's like a butt cheek or something. But I can't think of a spot Are in my body. Are you serious? Like seriously? Yeah. So you want to put it right here? <laughs> right here? <laughs> you want to put Alexis' property? Personally, if you would be down one day, like randomly out of nowhere, let's get your name tag, I would do it. Like, I wouldn't really care. I would have to think where I would want to put it. Yeah. Because it's like putting it just wherever. Like, imagine just everybody seeing like Alexis and it's like, oh, it's one of these guys. Wait, yeah. what's one of these guys? Guys that get their girl names tattooed. I know somebody, they both got each other's names tatted, baby and everything. Not together. Hello, um, baby mama I think, drama. I think I've heard of that. Yeah. Love does not have to convey in the tattoo, bro. It's not necessary to give each other's name tattoo to show how much you guys love each other. Maybe a detail, romantic detail or something, but like maybe it's just not I for would, us. I would think maybe on the hand, like right here would be cute. But like, there's really no necessary. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think what's cute, really, for me, I don't know what's, what is cute about it. Like, I would like prefer to do something else. Oh, like tattoo. in my eyes tattoo. Yeah, like that, that is better, you know, because maybe like, can, I'm like, You're lame! Little, I don't do it because her eyes are so little, like, it look like two moles. I would get your face tatted by my budgie. Okay, next question. Your thoughts on breaks. This is a good one. I'm gonna answer this first. So basically, I feel like there's no reason for a break. Like, I feel like if you're gonna break, then break up. Yeah, break up. Just, like, break, just break. Like, oh. finish the sentence. If being with a certain person is causing you so much trouble that you need a time for yourself, then bro, like, just break up. Dating should be dating to marry. So if you're dating this person and it's causing so much trouble, then bro, there's, like, gonna be more fish in the ocean. No, but then what do you think about people that break up and years together, they get back together? Then shit, then they've grown up, you know? Sometimes you can say that sometimes you meet the right person, but at the wrong time. You're trying to be wise? He always does this shit. He'll be saying like quotes. I'm literally watched him watch videos of like those podcasters and they'll say like a quote or a line and then we'll get onto that topic like later, even days later or whatever, and he'll re say that exact quote. Like trying to make me think he came up with that on his own. <laughs> like I didn't hear you, but everybody knows that phrase, bro. <laughs> Sometimes like it does happen because you do meet the right person at the wrong timing and stuff like that, and then you can give each other's chance in the past. But if you're in a relationship and like I need a break from this motherfucker like bro but, but also you don't think like say we get in a big argument but it's nothing over like cheating or not we just need time away from each other we've gotten on some arguments and we just tuck it after like an hour we tuck it over and then we try to solve it like right there and then yeah. pretty sure if we don't come to a common ground then te digo vete a la verga vete a la verga de mi país este es mi país este es mi país muy pronto Voy a tener mi Te voy a deportar a la verga. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I feel like with communication, I just feel like a break is never a good thing. I feel like there's always gonna be that one side of the relationship, one person mm -hmm. in the relationship that's gonna wanna do things like with other people. Yeah, like remember guys, like not most people don't like settle in like their fir first relationship. Like it's okay to go through like life and relationships and stuff like that because the most important thing is that you gotta be happy with, with yourself. Once you learn to be happy by yourself, then you can like start to give some other person love because if you don't love yourself, how are you gonna give someone else love yeah. and expect the same amount of love back to yourself? Like it's, it's kind of something like that. Yeah, it's like if you feel like you need, it's that bad enough where you need to go on a break, like a big break, then I feel like you you should just really rethink the whole relationship because mm -hmm. just because you have years with somebody just because you have history with somebody that doesn't mean they have to be your all okay y'all so the camera keeps shutting off but we got two more questions for you guys before we end this video what are pros and cons about living in mexico also love your videos michael thank you very much <laughs> Why then? yeah that's what they said so my pros, obviously the culture I love. Like I just love the people here. I love like everything about the culture here. I just love. In the US we do have a lot of culture because it's just a mix of culture and we got like Mexican American culture. But like Americans, like white Americans, I feel like they do have a culture. It's not nice culture. Like people tend to stay to themselves. They're not very family centered. That's how I feel like American culture can come off to some people. Like white American culture. Personally, I know from experience, like that's literally how my white American family is. 
in their own world you know what i mean and the culture here is like family's everything you know what i mean like even over there like a lot of white families they kick their kids out at 18. i felt other cultures it's not like that like mm -hmm. you can always stay at home Alexis is fluent in Japanese. <laughs> Could you just be yapping? Well, that shit was not funny. <laughs> anyway, so that's one of the pros. Obviously, the mm -hmm. food, amazing. And then another pro is just living with your family. Like, having them here all the time, being with them. Literally, his whole family. I do have to say, like, culture-wise, like, no me gusta la comida mexicana. Like me, the chicken strips. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously, pros and cons about living, not culture stuff. Living, uh, first off, living in Mexico means that you got tienditas every single quarter you need anything you just can just walk to the tiendita and you'll get everything you can go places by foot here you can take the bus it's more normal to take the bus and and like el metro and stuff like that and there's some parts in the u.s where like i never heard of my friends taking the bus or nothing like that i never recommended to take the bus Thanks. and then in the u.s every time you have to go for milk or anything you gotta like go to the grocery store it's like 10 minutes away yeah and then you gotta drive there those are some of the major things i mean apart from that like some common about Mexico is like not all roads are nice sometimes police police is a kind of like weird subject because police is not that good here in Mexico but police is also like kind of not that good in the US it's not good nowhere it's not that good nowhere <laughs> actually so, maybe yeah. in Europe in the US you know police got a bad rep Mexico police got a bad rep and then other things about Mexico obviously there's insecurities in Mexico there is obviously a cartel and stuff like that but as long as you don't mess with it they don't really mess with you at the same way that in the US there's obviously gangs and stuff like that and you don't want to mess with no gangbangers and nothing like that it's kind of like the same thing yeah it literally is i feel like a lot of the the bad of mexico gets shown more to american media than the good of mexico because yeah. like we've been everywhere in mexico we've been to so many states we've been to pueblos ranchos cities and i've never felt unsafe -er than how i would feel in the u.s like it's common sense you have to have like don't go walking around at night i feel safe wherever i go because it's yeah. just me you know it's me like come on who wouldn't be scared of me anyways other pros like obviously in mexico you can eat great food great and healthy food with a lower price and in the u.s if you try to buy some organic healthy stuff it's like yes. they're, they're charging you extra for healthiness here like an average person they can afford to eat healthy over there in the u.s an average person it can't really afford to eat healthy like personally i know from my family growing up we did not eat healthy because we just did not have money to eat healthy eating healthy is really expensive she didn't eat one vegetable until she met me <laughs> oh, for real? yes i did i see green meat is it canned green beans <laughs> that's why i think i don't like i've always not like vegetables because i ate all the vegetables canned it was never like real vegetables i feel like some cons of mexico okay personal cons that i have actually experienced there's not much but i would say the water pressure is literally booty cheeks here from my experience it's good but the hot water doesn't last long or it's bad and you have hot water but the water pressure is ass like our water pressure here is really ass and it actually pissed me the fuck off and another cons yeah i would say the insecurity but oh no no one of the biggest things in mexico drunk drivers yeah if you're driving at night on the weekends that's Every, a thing to watch out for like drunk drivers drives drunk. it doesn't really matter that much to a lot of people they just drive drunk yeah. bro and then like you obviously you can bribe cops here so it's really easy to get out mm -hmm. of yeah that's a really bad thing but i think that's all the cons i have uh, oh the heat i forgot there's no, no ac no central ac here like how you guys have in your houses like where it goes everywhere we can only have it here in rooms mm -hmm. specific in rooms. specific areas yeah mm -hmm. it's like individual acs yeah especially in places like where we live where it's so damn hot like. doing anything oh my god some days i cannot cook i tell Alexis, i'm sorry but i won't cook yeah because it's just too hot bro like trying to film content and stuff it's hard for me to film content during the day because it's so hot like i have to get it done in the morning or at night that's why we're filming this at night and it's still pretty it's pretty still hot. hot like there's been moments where we filmed at night for the couple channel and we're still sweating there's not one moment if we want to be like comfortable that we cannot have a fan facing us you know yeah and then it's hard like when we're filming and to have a fan because then you can hear the fan in the fucking video i need water man i'm thirsty look how strong i am with one arm i can pick this all up Jeez. you have a hole you have two holes isn't that so funny yeah so <laughs> you have two holes final question this is gonna be a juicy question would you let me have an only fans yeah 
Oh, man. So we've had this conversation before and Alexis told me that if she were to do OnlyFans, she would do OnlyFans like just with like bikini pics and stuff like that. Not not nudity. She, she explained that it was not nudity. Just like pictures like that she already has been, has uploaded to her Instagram and stuff like that. And in that case, it's fine to me. It's fine to me. Like there's no nudity. It's fine. But at the same time, just hearing the name of like OnlyFans. Your girl has OnlyFans and stuff like that. Like it brings it like a chime to a lot of people like... <gasps> Like she's a whore and stuff like that but it's like okay she's only posting these pictures but as long as you're like the only fans isn't like in the bio is like oh exactly. she has no respect for herself and stuff like that, that that's kind of like with the stigma that comes with it how i feel we've talked about like the question is also if i would make ever make an only fans we've talked about it before but like it is the name of it it sounds horrible it sounds like you're showing your coochie like playing with yourself yeah which like obviously a lot of people do but a lot of people don't i know girls who like like do OnlyFans and only post like bikini pics or like lingerie stuff. The stuff they would post literally on their Instagram and now you're just paying yeah. the price to see it. I only have a problem with the stigma that comes with it especially because like a uh, part of my family is very religious. I just can't imagine like them hearing or seeing that she has like OnlyFans, OnlyFans. and getting explained to them like okay it's OnlyFans. <laughs> like like my primas explaining it to them or something is kind of like. No they know what OnlyFans is. Everybody knows what it is here. There's a freaking sign in Kukara. Yeah it's kind of like a mocking advertisement. Uh huh. Yeah, that's the only thing that would like stop me from doing it because honestly, like, but I, if she's making, she, she, she's making a bag. I mean, a bag is a bag. A bag is a bag. But like, the only thing that would stop me, or the reason, like, I wouldn't do it because I don't really give a fuck, like, what people think of me on the internet. Like, I give two bucks about making a bag. You know what I mean? But like, your family and my family hearing, I have an OnlyFans. Yeah, it's that's kinda... just the sound of it sounds horrible. Real question is, would you let me open the OnlyFans? Like, for you open the OnlyFans? Doing what? In bikinis? In the little speedos? Yeah. Like with your booty? I put a GoPro on my chest. Oh, right here. No, I would never in my life like post videos or pictures of me doing the D. I'm not or, talking like, about you, I'm talking about me. Well, who? Yourselves? A pillow? Wait, not funny. Okay, guys, this is the end of the video. Let us know if you guys want more mukbangs like this for juicy questions or controversial yeah. questions, even different type of questions. Like and probably what? next time that we do a mukbang, we're not gonna do no caldo type of mukbang because drinking the food is kind of like bringing a lot of burps out of us. Are you what? Okay, guys, so we hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to stay tuned for our videos every Friday, okay? And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It's for the free. It can be done in two seconds. I really appreciate it a lot and it helps us very much to stay motivated for this because it means that you guys are liking the content, obviously. So anyways, if you guys like the video, you guys already know what to do. Stay tuned for next week. You know, we'll be dropping videos every single week, every single Friday and we love y'all and appreciate y'all anyways. See ya!